My name is Brian Kane, and I am a small business solutions advisor with the Microsoft Connections team. In today's webcast, we're going to take a further look at Office Live Small Business. In this webcast, we'll see just how easy it is to build a website from the ground up. We've logged into our Office Live account, and we're ready to make some changes to our site. The first thing you'll notice is that we're currently using an Office Live Premium account. We have access to business applications and workspaces. However, I want to let you know that everything we're going to be doing in today's webcast can be done from BASIC, which once again is completely free. Let's start off by taking a look at our site. Click on View Site in the website part of the Member Center page. Here's our current site. We've done a little bit of work to the overall appearance of the site and the header. However, we're going to change all of that and build this site from the ground up just to show you how easy it is to make a site using Office Live that looks very professional. To begin making changes to our website, click on Website in the Member Center page. From there, you'll be taken to Page Manager, where you can make changes to a particular web page or to the overall site. Let's click on Site Designer to launch the Office Live Web Designer, where we can make changes to our entire site. On the top, you'll see two tabs, one that says Page Editor and one that says Site Editor. Within Site Editor, which we'll use first, we can make changes to our overall site. The first change I'm going to make to my site is the overall look and feel of it. Let's begin by changing the color scheme. When you select the color drop down, you're given a variety of different options. And when you click on a color scheme, you're given a real time preview. In this case, I would like to go with coastal. Then, I'm going to change the way my header looks. The first thing I'm going to do is change my theme, which currently is this digitalized watch display that you see. I'm going to select general no photo. However, there's a variety of other categories with pictures that may be relevant to your business. Then, I'm going to change the style of the header by clicking on the style drop down. Again, there's a variety of options to choose from and I encourage you to play around with the different ones to find the best one for your site. In this case, I'm going to select this plain one so that when I insert my logo in a second, it'll pop as much as possible. Before I insert it, however, I'm going to remove the header text. I do so by clicking on Header. Then, I'm going to select all of the text, press Backspace or Delete, and press OK. Finally, I'm ready to insert my logo, so I'm going to click on the logo button. Currently, I have no pictures open, so I'm going to upload some pictures to my site. Now that we've uploaded the logo to our site, to insert it into our header, all we have to do is select it, choose from several different options, and click OK. To preview what this will look like, click the View button on the top. It will ask you if you want to save your changes. Go ahead and say Yes. This is what our current page will look like in our web browser. I'm happy with the changes we've made to the overall look and feel of the site. Now, let's go in and make some revisions to each particular page. To begin, we'll make changes to our home page. The first thing I want to do is change the layout of the page. You'll see that we currently have three different zones where we can enter information. I want to change this into a single pane. So under the layout drop down in the top right hand corner of the screen, we're going to select single area. Then I'm going to delete all of the content put in here for us and enter in some information myself. 
I've gone through and added some text. Now, let me show you how I can take this very plain looking text and spruce it up a little bit. First, I'm going to change the size of the text to make sure it's easier to read once people go to our website. Then, I'll select a certain portion of the text and apply some styling, such as making it bold, changing the color of it to a dark blue. Then, I'll add in a picture. I've already gone ahead and uploaded the picture in the same way we would do with our logo. If I want to resize it, I can do so. Now I'll select float left to apply text wrapping. I went through and I made a few more changes. Here's what our homepage now looks like. What I'm showing you now will be the subject of a further webcast. However, I briefly just want to show you that all the graphics you saw that looked very professional were made using Office 2007, in particular PowerPoint 2007. For example, I started off by inserting a shape in the form of a notepad and then applied formatting to it. I then added the cane note text and applied formatting to that as well. Added the horizontal line, the subtext, and then added additional formatting to create the very professional looking logo that you saw earlier. The graphics you saw on the page, for example the no to grow, is nothing more than word art within PowerPoint. In case you are in disbelief that Office 2007 could produce such incredibly powerful graphics, here's one more look. To switch to a different web page, to make edits to it, it's very simple. Simply go to the web page drop down on the top of the left screen and then select which page you want to go to. Let's start by making some revisions to the About Us page. Let's start off by changing the layout of this page. Let's do three side-by-side -side zones. In the first one, I'm going to enter information about Kane Notes. In the second, about its founder, myself. And in the third, some contact information. I've now gone through and added some text in. Let's make some basic revisions to the text first. For example, I'll select these items I want bulleted and simply click on the bulleted list button to make them bulleted. Then, I'll insert a couple pictures. You can see the picture is way too large, and I can click and drag to resize it. I've added in my images. Finally, one more element that I want to add in, and that's a method or a mechanism that customers can use to contact me. I could just put my basic contact information, but Office Live enables me to do something more, and that's insert a Contact Us module. To do so, all it takes is three clicks. One, click on Module. Two, click on Contact Us. Verify that the email address is correct. Three, click OK. In a matter of moments, we've just inserted a very professional contact form where customers can enter in their email address, the subject of the email, and then information that they want to send us, and then click Submit. Let's take a look at what this looks like in Internet Explorer.
here's what our new about us page looks like I hope you've enjoyed today's webcast we've gone in and shown just how easy it is from the ground up to build a professional site using Office Live Basics, which is completely free. For other great webcasts, audio casts, resources, and information about free live events in your area, visit Microsoft.com/connections.